We hear so much these days about how important STEM skills are to overall student success, and there's a heavy emphasis on STEM in education in general. But STEM, as the name implies, encompasses a wide range of disciplines. Science, technology, engineering, math. It's not just one thing to be mastered. So when we're saying STEM is important, what are we actually saying? Well, STEM's increasing importance makes sense in the context of how workforce skills have changed over the course of the 21st century. With the emergence of automation and technologies like AI, there are far fewer jobs now that require routine work. Instead, many of today's jobs require skills like adaptability, problem solving, and analytical communication skills. I'm a commercial airline pilot for American Airlines. I work in product design and marketing communications. My title is VP of software development. I am a small business owner. A advanced practice nurse practitioner who practices in... So when we talk about the significance of STEM, we're not just talking about physics, biology, or algebra. We're talking about the essential skills that students need to thrive in the modern workforce, whether that's in a STEM-related role or not. As a child, the concept of STEM wasn't really on my radar. I don't think it was really until I entered the professional world that I discovered the expansive nature of STEM skills and their adaptability and applicability across diverse fields. In response to such a rapidly changing landscape, the National Education Association has identified four skills that are essential for 21st century students to acquire. These are critical thinking, collaboration, communication, and creativity, or the four C's. Now, it may not be immediately apparent how a STEM education in particular can foster these skills, but think about it. In science, we don't just accept what we see. We learn how to dig deeper to find answers, or even better, to find more questions. That's critical thinking, which is personally what made me fall in love with science that endless process of asking how and why something works the way it does. I think it's such an important skill because it really does help you navigate the entire world around you. But I'm still using those basic research skills that I learned all the way back in probably elementary school. STEM is inherently collaborative, and through STEM learning, we're able to offer students a space where they can simulate the situations they're likely to encounter when they enter the workforce. Those experiences can help them understand that no one person has all the answers. We have to work together to achieve great things. It really comes down to communication and working effectively with other crew members. I always work with another pilot. We always collaborate together. We need to work as a team, um, along with our flight attendants, the gate agents, um, our dispatcher, air traffic control. I think we can all recognize that communication is a skill required for any field, whether that's marketing, in the classroom, graphic design, literally every job listing I've ever seen has good communication skills in the requirements section. But in STEM, we don't just learn how to communicate, we learn how to communicate complex information effectively, how to articulate the basis of an experiment, how to see patterns in and extract meaning from large amounts of data, and it might sound surprising, but my training as a microbiologist is actually what's prepared me so well for what I do now as a media producer. Now, it's an important skill in whatever job that you have, being able to convey the information that you want to be able to say to somebody in a way that they can understand it um, and that it's actually useful to them. Mathematicians and the application of math for me in engineering, sometimes it's like, there's multiple answers and sometimes you don't get to that final answer. It's as much being able to convey your thinking around that as it is getting to that answer. Most of us probably don't automatically associate creativity with STEM subjects, but coming up with ways to probe some of the toughest questions we face today and figuring out how we're gonna measure what we're looking for, these challenges require some serious out of the box thinking. Engineering, for example, is all about dreaming up solutions to problems and finding creative ways to make those solutions possible. That's the heartbeat of my role. Whether it's developing unique brand stories or designing visually compelling campaigns, creativity is central to capturing and retaining attention and visibility. Now, of course, we can develop all of these skills in multiple disciplines and in our lives outside of education. But STEM subjects allow us to apply these skills in tangible ways within a framework that's based on curiosity. Because once you have those fundamental STEM skills, you can really just succeed in anything. 
So if you ever hear a student say, but why do I have to do this? I don't want a career in STEM. You can remind them that the skills they're acquiring will help them open the door to any career in any field, from medicine to marketing to entrepreneurship. And who knows, they might even end up like me with their dream career that's half looking down a microscope and half looking through a camera lens.